In this video, I'll show you how you can use the DuckDuckGo search engine, and I'll show you how you can make it your default search engine inside of your browser. You may notice that when you're using Google or you're using other search engines, you're always getting bombarded with targeted advertisements, and companies are making money from your data. And DuckDuckGo are trying to stop that, and they're trying to keep everything anonymous. So if we just go to the About section of DuckDuckGo, and we scroll down, you can see there are 3 billion private searches every month. They were founded in 2008. They have 124 employees and $2.6 million have been donated to DuckDuckGo. So here's how you can use it. So you first need to go to DuckDuckGo.com and once you're here, this is the search engine. You can go ahead and search using the search engine like you would do with Google. So let's say for example, I wanted to search for a Bose headset. So I would just type in Bose headphones you can see auto suggest keywords that you can search for. And you can see here you've got websites that come up just like Google. It looks pretty much exactly like Google. You've got all, you've got images, videos, news, and maps. And you can also go into settings here and change the appearance. You can also change if you want safe search enabled and also the time frame. So you can do a lot of filtering like you can do in Google. Now, sometimes there are gonna be advertisements with DuckDuckGo, that's how they make the money. But the difference is, DuckDuckGo aren't going to have targeted advertisements. They're just going to be general advertisements that everybody would see. So for simple things, DuckDuckGo is perfect. It's a great competitor to Google and you pretty much get the same results. I have found though for some longer keywords and for some phrases that you really have to dig for, Google is just unmatched. So I would use DuckDuckGo if you can, but if you can't find what you're looking for on DuckDuckGo, you may have to just go back to Google for that one search, and that will happen sometimes, but it doesn't really happen that often. I would still make DuckDuckGo your default search engine if you value your privacy, and here's how you would do that. So in Google Chrome here, what you wanna do is you wanna to go to the top right-hand corner, go to the three dots, and then go to settings. Here it will bring up your Chrome settings, and you can then go to search engine, and then it should say search engine used in the address bar. You just wanna to go to this drop-down menu and then go to DuckDuckGo. Once you've done that, that's pretty much all you need to do. You can now exit out of settings. And now if I open up a new tab, you can see it already defaulted to DuckDuckGo. I can now search for any search term and you can see I've searched for the sun and we've got search results for that keyword. So that's how you can use DuckDuckGo. Make sure you leave a like and I'll see you all in the next one.